Welcome to another YouTube video. It's your girl Chrissy Chella, and without further ado, it's time for Cooking with Chrissy. Guys, you love these videos, and I love making them for you. I love giving you as many recipes as possible that can inspire you, and also just remind you that please eat. Please just eat your food. Calories are your friend and food is your friend. You should not be allowing food to consume your life. There is a difference if you are prepping, if you are doing a bodybuilder competition, if you are aiming towards something. But if you just wanna live a happy, sustainable life that fulfills you, food is the energy source that will help you fulfill that life. It should not be the end all or be all of your life. So please enjoy food. It shouldn't be something that you earn. It shouldn't be something that you overthink. Easier said than done, but trust me, about 10 years ago, I was the person that would do excessive amount of cardio to earn my meals, and every single piece of food I put into my body, I would overthink over and over and over again. Not to mention the binge eating, not to mention the yo-yo diets. So if there's anything I want you to take out of this channel, is to understand that you are safe here, that I want you to eat here, and that I'm gonna inspire you to genuinely fuel your body with nutrient-dense foods that are wholesome, easy to make, and absolutely delicious. Anyway, breakfast time. So, these are my pancakes, protein pancakes. I love, love, love making these. So, the first thing we do is we start with a liquid. I'm gonna go in with some coconut milk. scoop of women's best protein. I'm actually gonna do a scoop and a half. I do love this protein powder. Vegan protein is one of those things where you're a bit like, oh my gosh, it tastes like mud. But this one is actually so, 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 so good. I love this one and I love cereal milk. I'll pop the link in the description box so you can use my link. Those two flavors are probably the flavors that I love the most. And when you blitz it with berries or coconut milk, tastes so delicious. Plain water, I'm a little bit terrified to do that with vegan protein, so I always blend it with a plant-based milk or any milk and then some berries. The final thing I'm gonna do is just add some chocolate chips. You can add any chocolate chips that you like. I'm just gonna mix that into the batter. There will never be a cooking with Christy without olive oil. It's just facts. Never. If you are terrified of olive oil, we can't be friends. Like, I'm sorry, but olive oil is my best friend in the world. I don't understand. I have made these, I swear on my life, I have made these pancakes. I think it's the pan. It's the pan. I'm not blaming myself on this one. I've made these pancakes before. I can't understand what's going on here. You can still eat that. I'm not throwing that away. <gasps> All right, we're gonna make it thinner. we're gonna make is the lunch dish. You can make this for two people, one person, however many people you want, depending on the size of the cod. This is technically for two people. So this is gonna be served with a bed of rice or also newborn potatoes. Newborn potatoes or are they baby potatoes? Not newborn potatoes, baby potatoes. So you can serve it with any carb that you want, but fundamentally this is a one pan cod dish which is so easy and packed with nutrients, protein, and everything that you need and what your body needs. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually smother our pan in, you guessed it, olive oil for our fats. And then we're gonna place our cod at the bottom. So what you can do as well is just smother the cod in the oil and then bring it back up. 
That's so. Grab a courgette, chop it up, whack it in the pan. Tomato, salt, pepper. So we're going to put it at two thirty five. be making my favorite type of way to make chicken there's two types of way I love to make chicken but the other way is just too long and we don't have time for that but number one is pulled chicken I'll do it in a vlog one day but every single time I make this pulled chicken I'm telling you now it lasts so long it's so juicy I'll show you the pulled chicken recipe if you want me to so leave a comment below and let me know second way I love doing it is how my mama used to make it at home. It brings me back to like my Mediterranean roots. Arguably everyone's going to be like Chrissy, everybody makes chicken this way. But listen, this is how we made chicken back in my house and it just reminds me of summer chicken, like barbie chicken. So I cut the chicken breast in half so I slice it so it's thinner. Then what I do is I add olive oil again. Do you know what guys, I'm at this point just going to have a little olive oil necklace because I literally just, I smother myself in this. Even the body butter I make at home has olive oil. My hair, I put olive oil in it. I just obsess with it. Then we're going to add salt. So I put salt generously on each chicken breast. Don't shy away from salt unless you have a condition. And then pepper. Easier. A lot of pepper. This is really tasty. And then the final thing is lemon juice. You're going to do it on both sides. You're going to get a really hot pan. You're going to grill each side so it's golden brown. Then you're going to reduce the heat, add a splash of water, and let it cook through with the lid on top. And you're going to let it cook through for a further 10 minutes. And you want it on really low heat so then it can cook through gradually and it can be a, a lot more moist and a lot more delicious. them away because when you're simmering it you're going to put the lemons in there with the lid on top so don't throw that away just makes it way more hydrating. This is gonna be rogue, like we're gonna go for it. So, dash of coconut water, dash of coconut milk. I love coconut milk, I love coconut water so much. Just dash, just dash. Scoop of protein powder. So I tend to have two, two scoops a day, two and a half scoops a day. So a little bit more. 
frozen berries. Add, be generous with this, like add quite a few. Because you want to you make it thick. Dash of maple syrup, my favorite. I love maple syrup so much. One teaspoon of peanut butter for healthy fats. So there you have it, four recipes that I tend to bounce towards. You guys already know, I've made that chicken recipe before, we've made those pancakes before, but I absolutely love them. This is my go-to shake. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope I've inspired you to go and eat your food. Either way, I just want you to always know the importance of fueling your body, moving your body, and also honoring your body. That is by far the most important thing you'll actually ever do in your life because if you are not in a good place, you can't help anybody else around you. So always remember to fill your cup up first before you fill anybody else's cup. I love you always and forever. Leave a thumbs up, it goes a long way. That means I can continue to make these videos for you, give you more recipes, and share the fitness word. Till next time, I love you always and forever. Bye guys.